don't get it twisted. I I feel like with my mouth, I can accurately I can accurately uh, verbalize. I can accu accurately verbalize what it is that went went wrong. I don't need the game's help to tell you how that went bad. I am more than capable of describing it. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> Get out of here. I did. Was it uh, Leslie Jordan who just passed? Leslie Jordan, that, that one was for you. I died fabulously to honor that great man. Ooh, sniped him out of midair. Damn, I miss my old I miss my old one so much. That guy got a chainsaw. Yeah, that last one was really good. I'm a little bummed out about losing that. I didn't think I was doing anything too risky either. I was just kind of exploring that one. I thought it was a, like a one little alcove. I didn't realize this whole. I didn't realize there was a whole different part of the map. This guy's gonna go berserkium. Anticlimactic. Yeah, so he's Berserkium now. Wait for it. There we go. I feel like the fuck? I feel like they're implying that Berserkium is bad. It's a curse, but it makes me look badass, you know? Okay. How's Noida going? It's amazing. It's been amazing. What a delightful game. I mean, like, endlessly frustrating. I don't know about that one. I don't know that I'm going to use that one. It's not a bad, bad one by any stretch of the imagination, but... What the fuck is this guy's issue? No, it's been awesome. Big explosions, funny deaths, uh, good runs. We we've gotten some good runs that were the the best offerings I've had so far in this game. We've made it to new new. Well, oh look at this! I'm right back under where I started. That's disappointing. Um, <clears throat> we've made it to to new areas. We've made it to new depths. We've seen some neat synergies that I feel like I'm finally getting my head wrapped around. Yeah, we've had definitely, we've had uh, at least two runs where I felt like we were in good shape and then we just instantly weren't. And that was frustrating for sure. What's the deepest you've gone so far? The, like whatever the fifth level down is, like 500 some odd meters. Happy to see you taking an extended uh, vacation from Isaac. It's really nice to not be playing Isaac for a while. Especially after that awkward ass exchange with Edmund, like I really just don't feel super engaged with the idea of logging more Isaac hours. Um, 
I am, I will say I am genuinely pumped at the idea at some point of going back and playing Fiendfolio. I wouldn't mind getting my hands wrapped around what sounds like a very good community mod. What the fuck? That's not a sh I thought that man had a chainsaw as a shotgun. That's not the same thing. PC, that's it. That's the farthest I've been. That was a lot. Uh. Fucking infinite range on that, huh? Must be nice. How can I lay my hands on, uh... Shit, raid boss down. Mr. President, we got him. Yeah, he's see based the level where you learn where you learned your wands can't do crowd control. Covered in oil, baby. What could go wrong? That guy killed in a single shot. His cousin was a devastating force of nature. I'll have nightmares about his cousin, but that guy went down with one bullet. God, give me those big crits. What are you? Worm pheromone potion. Oh! Oh, I get it. I don't get it. I thought I got it. Get your asses over here, worms. I thought it was like it would attract worms who would eat and dig tunnels for you. That gold may not be gold we ever touch. I haven't seen a worm yet. I've seen their trails, I think. But I've not seen a I've not seen a worm yet. Dude, I will gleefully take a water potion. Matter of fact, let's move that puppy up front. to have killed somebody. That was the best OSHA violation I could muster. Fire potion. Worms? Maybe? Oh my god. We're in pheromones. Fool me once game. It's a gratifying noise. Oh 
Oh my god, condensed frogs. Concentrated frogs. How does one kill him? There we go. human life. I guess I'm satisfied with that floor. Ooh. Sparkle, sparkle. Oh, glory to the Hypno Toad. Oh, big stretch. <clears throat> what do we got over here? Excuse me. No wand tinkering. Wands can't be tinkered with, but enemies may drop blood money. That sounds terrible. Your spells arc towards you, but gain extra speed and deal extra damage. Projectiles that fly into a small sector behind you, behind of you, small sector behind you disappear. All right, neat. Summon egg. Yeah, yeah, nice try, Satan, with boomerang spells. The F out of here. Uh, gives your wand bright but very dangerous light. Paid for that. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna die inside the sanctuary. Panic wand. that dead ass a uh, chest of some kind
I want to go there. Can this be bombed? No. We're coming up from the bottom. Noted. Now I know what it does. Don't worry, Chad, it only hurts you if you're anywhere near liquid. Thank God there's never liquid anywhere in this game. Jesus. Ah! Thought that part had already happened. I have no clue how to get there. Crits left, right, and sideways. I don't think that's by design. I think that's just happening to me. Fuck, that guy got me good. That guy dropped a bow? What do you do? You're not even as good as the one I've got. This is going to be fun to watch. It does look weak there, doesn't it? All right, Taffy, next time, my guy. Noted. I'm hungry. Again. How? I had a big lunch. I guess it is 312. It is inching towards dinner time. I think I'm making essentially corn dogs tonight. Who did this? Yo, bear! I got about 15 minutes left, 15, 20 minutes left, but you can hang out here whilst I play my second ever day of Noida. Yo, you're playing Tiny Rogues? Check this out. Oh, I hope I, I hope Noida can even load. It hates when I do that. I haven't streamed it. Look at that. Right there. You and me both, my dude. Tiny Rogues is fun as hell. Tiny Rogues is fun as hell. This is, yeah, this is only my second day playing Noida. I'm in, well, I'm enjoying it, in that I'm enjoying how uh, aggressively it beats my ass. Oh, you're fine. Quit crying, computer. Um, I'm gonna fix this if nobody else is going to. Give me two seconds. Bear, I'm gonna ask you one tiny favor before you go. 
This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. If you think anyone from your channel <laughs> would like a makeshift companion to go with that dapper ass bear of yours. I'm just saying, if they take yours and put mine next to it, it kind of spells out bear taffy. Bear taffy. One, one of my great regrets in life is that I didn't find out about yours until after it was over. I was crestfallen. They would be little they would be little mates hanging out on my shelf. So yeah, I, it's, uh, I'm 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 in the oh shit. I'm in the battle. Get out of here. I'm in the battle to uh get 200 of those moved in the next 2 weeks so that we get those sold. Can I just do that and get rid of it? All right, yeah, that gets rid of it. There we go. Anyway, man, not to give you the hard sell after you came here and did something nice for me, but, uh, I'll have to relaunch Noida. Sorry, guys. Thank you so much for the raid, man. I hope, uh, lunch is delightful. I hope life's been treating you well. Let's see if it saved the game for me. Have a good one, brother. This should... Should just drop us off right where we were. Yeah, we're exactly where we were. I appreciate that, man. That's the opposite of... It feels like that's the opposite of about every game we played during Horror Month. The fact that this thing's just automatically saving and letting us be where we need to be feels like the polar opposite of every game we played in October where it's like, oh, you don't get a save point for the next hour and a half. I'm a simple man. I know what I like. Yo, McQueeb! My boy playing Noida, he's growing up so fast. Yeah, Bear Taffy tagging in McQueeb. That's right, Bear Taffy left, so McQueeb had to come in here and uh, maintain my mandatory status of always having at least a couple of uh, check marks hanging out here in chat to validate my fragile ego. Queen, uh, I enjoyed having you over here, man. We should get the game together more often. That was pleasant. I will... I will feed y'all every single time you come over here for sure. If food is the excuse that gets us all hanging out, then I'm... Uh, I, will, I will sacrifice myself on the pyre. I don't think that bomb's gonna stay there. Yeah, Bear just gave us the old raid. Um... Yeah, dude, this is day two of Noida. It's been fun in the world's most uh, aggressive, un unrelenting way. There we go, he did. Oh, it's, what is this? It's like a fire rock, right? The pyre is too small at the moment. Need a bigger one? I ordered. Uh, let me let me show you what I ordered today. I knew I know that normally I said I was like, oh, I got a brand new, I got a brand new fourth monitor, so I could just bring this in on the same screen. Um, this is in the mail like right now. Noida locks my mouse in and gets real finicky if I tab out. So let me just show you real quick. There we go. I got the this one. I got this one coming. So anywho, I got a smokeless fire pit coming that should be here by the next time you show up. Which means no more. Oh god, the plume of smoke. I went to Lowe's and bought the $300 model. Heated metal's gonna rust no matter how much you spend. Uh, I mean, you know, I could have gone and gotten the solo one, but I, I, the reviews that I read, they were talking about, like, save money, just buy a solo, a solo stove. Basically, we're saying, yeah, you can do the solo stove, but the, the only real, the only, like, real good reason if you're looking to spend a little money, because, like, I don't know, the Brio's a little flashier. I'm trying to pull together, this radioactive rat scares the shit out of me. 
I'm trying to pull together a backyard that feels, you know, a little snazzy, a little Airbnb uh, backyard oasis escape sort of feel. So the Brio, in my opinion, looks a little more sophisticated. Um, I also read that com as compared to the solo stove, uh, the solo stove does a really good job of, of like, it's portable and it's lightweight and it's cheaper, but the heat goes mostly up instead of out. And the Brio, when it's hot, apparently the heat does a better job of radiating out. And if I if I went for the solo stove and it didn't generate heat to the sides, I lose my ability to get Amber to sit with me. Because the moment that Amber sat down and went, all that heat is going straight into the sky. If anyone needs me, I'll be inside where it's warm. I would be bummed out in a pretty big way. Cause like getting her to come hang out with me and drink a beer with me and sit with me by the fire is like 95% of the reason that I would even pull together a, a swanky back patio. <clears throat> yeah, Sir Bruce of Noah's just like, hey man, have you just tried having more money? And I'm like, that's kind of your job, my guy. I'm stuck. Give me a second. There we go. I honestly don't even remember the brand. I'm not normally like a brand specific kind of guy, but every once in a blue moon, I do kind of, I do kind of get hung up on exactly what I want. And I, I, I have a tendency to just sort of, hello? Anyone happen to see where that bomb went? Weird. That bomb like blinked out of existence. I have no idea. Yeah, there was nothing over here. What a bummer. Oh well. I would have never known if I hadn't looked. It's a stream expense. You just have to have a 24 hour stream. Uh, maybe. I try really hard not to put my... I try really hard not to put Ernest, my accountant, in a, in a position where he's got to like scold me for writing off stuff that clearly is not a business business expense. If it's gray, if it's a gray area, like the pinball machine, if it's a gray area, you better by God believe I'm gonna err on the side. You better by God believe I'm gonna err on the side, the side of uh, hey, shoot me. Yeah, there you go. You better by God believe that I'm gonna err on the side of uh, writing it off versus not writing it off. I'm down here now. But all things being equal, I try I'm I I, I just don't want to get audited. So I I generally try to play it pretty close to the vest. Jesus, it took forever to kill that guy. That guy just fucked off, huh? Neat. He's not dead? Now he's dead. Things are awfully rumbly down here. Did I get him? Ah, I got him. thought it was going to bring the fire with it. Oh, I can just get to it. I think I kind of decided that this one's booty. Unless I just wanted the stuff off of it. Oh my. That's a spicy meatball. That casts eight spells simultaneously. Good grief. Uh, it's largest with ceramic sides. I cleaned it and treated it before the fall. It heats our patio very well, uh, pretty well. Either way, congrats. We've enjoyed our popper fire pit. Mine have all been popper fire pits. I don't mind them, but like the ones that I get from Lowe's last a couple of years. And even when I try to take care of them, they just fall apart. Maybe that's the case with all of them. Maybe I've just made a bad investment. Who knows? 
I don't feel like I do though. I like I'm excited about it, which feels like it justifies the expense. That's kind of the thing that I've learned is that this is probably the house I'm going to be in for the longest in my life. Uh it at the last tail end of the prime of my life. Uh so I'm forgiving myself a little more for just like uh choosing to spend a little more money to get exactly what I want. I don't think I'm really gonna get to do this the way that I'm doing it now in any home that I live in after this for sure. I don't do it very often. I had money to buy a car. I bought one for Amber and the boys. I had money for a big trip. I took the boys to Orlando. I normally just do do for other people as best I can. Every once in a blue moon though, I just kind of know what kind of toy I want. And I'm starting to get better about just giving my myself permission to just have something because I want it. And not necessarily just because I can justify it, you know? Oh no, that's fire. Not just because I can justify it. I'm getting better about like, wa me, me wanting it and it being within the budget is reason enough. And that's not been the case for me for a long time. For most of my life, that's not been the case. Man's on fire. I don't feel like fire damages them nearly as fast as it damages me. What's going on up here? This seems in intense. Ooh. What if though? I'm on fire. Right here, man. Oh shit, things are weird. Do I have anything meaner? That's right, these guys are on my side. And not very good. I shoot out? Oh, I totally can. Oh, God, please don't. I'm over here now. I did not choose to come over here. The game put me over here. God damn it, Taffy, why? I just... Ugh. I kind of just wanted to see what, how long that nest would take to kill. It is a lot of work, honestly. That nest is a lot of work. I don't know that I should ever do that again unless I got something like a saw blade build going. And there was so much fire. I didn't realize that every time you hit the nest, fire came out. I'd never hurt one of those things before. So I guess at least I learned that. 